We are in Microsoft Outlook 2013. I'm going to show you how to export your email to a CSV file, a comma separated value file. Sometimes uh, that is the preferred method of uh, exporting your, your data because you want, want to manipulate it in some way. And you can't do that if you do it that to a PST file. So let's go ahead and click on our mailbox here. Let's click on File. And then we're going to go to Open and Export. Uh, and then we click on the Import Export link. From here we click on uh, export to a file and click next. Leave the default comma separated values. Next. And we're going to uh, go ahead and select the very top of the list. And then from there we can choose which folder underneath we would want to export. In our case we're going to go ahead and choose the deleted items. Let's click next. And we're going to save that too. So let's go ahead and click Let's click on the desktop and we'll just call it CSV file. Whatever it is you want to call it, doesn't matter. Go ahead and click next. And we'll go ahead. If you want, you can map custom fields. It shows all the different fields on the left and on the right. We're not going to worry about that. We'll go ahead and click finish. And this could take a long time. It could be, you know, a fairly quick thing. So it just depends on. Uh, how big the file is. So I hit refresh and I see CSV file.csv. Open that up and you can see uh, the email that was uh, in our deleted items and it shows the subject, the body, who it's from, uh, and there's various different information in there. So from here, there's a lot of different programs you can use to uh, edit this file. Uh, I, I chose Excel just because I knew it would open it, but there's lots of different things. And then if you want, you can import it back in.